Would you please go out with us? Yeah, please. Please. Think it'll work? Oh, definitely. <clears throat> we pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is flush, fresh, fleshly. <laughs> freshly mown, and the for sale sign is still in the yard. <laughs> Hiya! And with the swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Huh. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I really could go for a sandwich. <laughs> An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Uh, do we need coffee? We need coffee. Do we the, park, the dogs in the park nearby, or do we need to unpack? It? I don't want to unpack. Let's get some coffee. Let's get some coffee. Go. Okay, let's go get some coffee. It's 10 a.m. We need some coffee. We're that kind of dad. <laughs> I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it! Walk down the street to the coffee spoon. Cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home in my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is pretty much within my personal zone. Hmm. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it out on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face blush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? <gasps> Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. <laughs> The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Moose! Moose! Yes? Keep dad alert! Yes, I see! You want I this one? Want... <clears throat> Should I? I can. Or do you want me? I can, I can do it. Okay. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, oh it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Oh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. <laughs> but <gasps> people ask me that question all the time. I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I just can't stop. Hey. Oh, we just had to. He's cute. And I look at him, and he looks at me, and we look at you. <laughs> so what'll it be? Ah. I scan the chalkboard menu, and am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a. Uh... Godspeed, you black coffee, Ice, oh, Tegan, and Sarah, Cheyenne Wood. I want the Edward. Ice, Tegan, and Sarah. Do it. Oh, Good oh. choice. Oh my god, it was hearts. There were hearts. This dad likes Tegan and Sarah. That's a good band. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in uh, 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits, but meaningful lyricism. Hey. lyricism. I hope that's the right pronunciation. If not, that's fine. I'm doing the thing again. Oh. But coming right up. Mm. 
And for you? Have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey, dude. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, medium. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt sets out to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Ow! Also, look at those pastries! Oh, it's so good! Hey! Hey! Skull was cool once. <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. He's trying to set us up. Set uh, y'all up? I don't know. Come on, what'd we say about meeting new people? Cute. I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I uh, have a sip. The ice, Keegan, and Sarah is delicious. Wait, the name looks different than it was before. <laughs> Hi, we're new to the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Ness. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Oh. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You too might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> Save me. You know what? Let me get you guys, or your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that is it pastries? amazing. Is it pastries? I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need your help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and uh, really appreciate the flavor sensations of uh, Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste. If you want us to doing some, if you want us doing free creative labor, I think that would be consumerate, con commensurate, commensurate words with the. Uh... I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. <laughs> right? Yes, that. Matt gives us each a piece. And Amanda and I happily chow down. Yeah. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you a dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's grateful oh. banana bread. Right, right set. Oh, right I like set right banana set. bread. I like the cadence of that one. Yeah, do you want to, this Just one? Do it, do it. Right said banana bread. Oh, my heart! Like right said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. That actually has a nice root to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, right said banana bread. Wrong decisions? That's art, baby. I wanted to say baby because I thought it sound it sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Uh -huh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey, uh... See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Or I see just for a moment. I'm intrigued. He's looking. He's looking. We're looking. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me still. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. 
Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Uh, we get some fresh we air. Get more fresh air. We could. Like, I think we should get some fresh air because, like, we're exploring this new. Uh, we are. We're exploring yeah. new. Yeah. Gonna go find more daddies. Ooh, let's I think go. we found two daddies. Let's get two. fresh air. Let's get fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna get so strong, they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park! Uh, dad tip number 40, managing debt is just part of being an adult. Oh, I no! Like I don't like it! Wait, what's this folder? Amanda and I oh, begin no. a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I need to click this. <gasps> hey, oh, wait, let's save. We should save. <laughs> this place ah, smells nice. Too nice. I accidentally clicked. I don't <laughs> trust it. Good eye, honey could never be too careful. See that baby in that stroller over there? Government offering. Mm. Run to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love them so much. They're so cute! We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Your, your turn! Okay. Heads up! Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Oof. Oh. Oof. <gasps> a corgi with a neat hey, plaid handkerchief you, tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Oh. oh! Uh, hello. Did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. I, I, like I think I like your necktie is what I'm leaning. Oof. <laughs> He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. A pop Yes! No, yes! Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Or yes. No, I dog. want the wisdom from the tiny dog. <laughs> How long do I have left? How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's lottery? How long do I have left? I'm concerned about that one. Do you have tomorrow's lottery numbers? Maybe. I, I like the middle one. How did you know? More food. My god. This dog knows more than he lets on. You, you definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. It's a new technique! <laughs> Catch it with my teeth the next time. Oh, snap! No, no, no! Um, it's a um, okay. Oh, oh, I... Yeah. I mean... I don't know. The teeth just sounds very... That's good. Do it. I, it's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm no! just messing with you. Oh, I'm Brian, no! by the way. Those were eggplants. Were those eggplants? They were not egg. Yeah, eggplants. <laughs> I'm Ness, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dogs. Hi. Eh? Your dog's cool. <laughs> uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Yours. Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Hmm. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. 
Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Oh, me. <laughs> Ten? She's a precious little youngster. Huh? Precocious. Whoa. Oh, precocious. Foolish. She's also precious, though. Look she at is her. very precious. Look at her. Whoa. Right, so... My natural dad instincts come in. Oh no, I must brag about my child's accomplishments. <laughs> Wait, let's save. A dad battle is happening. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. Oh, Brian. Go oh. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Uh, I... That's my girl! <laughs> Amanda, get in there! <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Ness's HP 80. Brian's HP 80. Oh god. Oh, oh my god! I'm, I'm gonna uh, leave this to you. You leave this to me? Well, we're gonna brag then. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! <laughs> Brian loses 10 HP! Oh, Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP! <laughs> oh my god! Ness oh snap! Oh no, we're losing! Uh, what is what is that, Dad? Should we try it? Maybe. Sh should we continue to brag? Let's do. Yeah, let's try the D H whatever. I don't know what that is. Can't oh! switch daughters. Amanda, it's your only daughter. Oh, uh, I'm a dumb. Huh? Items. Ah! Items. What's the items? Uh. I don't think it's the grade card. I'm leaning towards spelling bee photo. Okay. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, <laughs> Amanda. Daisy is getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be your third win in a row. Yikes, you lose 5 HP. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the <laughs> president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club. Or a computer lab. Oh no, we're losing! Oh no! I'm leaving this to you now. You're leaving it to me? Uh... Child art? Let's try child art. You unfurl and un unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Cute. It isn't very impressive, but gen G Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Oh. Brian loses. Yeah. Jenny. You were grading twenty. Yeah. Daisy sold enough <laughs> candy bars this year to get a top prize, a canoe. Bring it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. No! No! We're 50 60. Uh, should we brag? Yeah, well, let's brag. Last week, unpromoted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bag. Aww. It's extra powerful! Brian loses 20 HP. Did I mention Davy C said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. <laughs> nah. Nah. We're, We're 40 even. for 40. Maybe we should keep bragging? We got a band-aid though. But no, yeah, no, maybe. no, the band-aid might be a little embarrassing, right? I was thinking it'd heal us somehow, but you might be right. This is this is an Let's actual. Just keep bragging. Uh, Amanda's in all honor classes this semester. Brian. Oh really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose twenty HP. 
Oh no! Oh no! Okay. But eh 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 eh. Okay, choose whatever you want. Let's try this band aid. With the flourish, you produce a band aid from your pocket. Take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. Uh, wait, what are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. <laughs> I thought so. I thought that one would be weird. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. Amanda self cautiously pulls her lips together to hide her teeth. Oh. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Dang, he's really got us beat. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Or oh, do you have to add an insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? That band aid did us in! And we were gonna get done in anyway, so I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we live in the cul de sac <laughs> ne down next to the coffee shop. Oh, what a coincidence! That's where we live too! Small world! Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place! Oh. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. Uh, you'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding. Oh, I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Moof. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Do we want to unpack or do we want to take a nap? Probably unpack. Right? Yeah, we should probably unpack. We should just get settled in. We should head home. I'm gonna need four hours minimum to figure out how to build my new bed. And I'd like to not have to sleep on the floor tonight. That's fair. Take care of your health. While you're still young. I get Aww, to work. it's cute! It is very cute! I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying, and you can actually walk through the living room without tripping on boxes. First visitor already. I walk over to the door and open. Hello. <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Yeah. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Ness. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? right? Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. I like his fit. Well, thanks for the cookies. Ooh, crackers. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said, ooh, crackers. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. She gone. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. Uh -oh. I have four kids. What have you done? 
Oh, uh, oh. I mean... Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met in my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and uh... No, not anymore. He died. Oh. oh. Uh... I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. <laughs> I I'm sorry. Uh, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hey! Oh, shit. Hey, <laughs> I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. Oh, in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda would love Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> <laughs> we shake hands to seal the deal. Man, they cute. <laughs> they are very cute. I like the I like pink and blue together. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know, just the dynamic that's already happened is kind of adorable. <laughs> well, great. neighbor, I'll see you at three p.m. sharp on Saturday. Thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Wink. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's law. Wow, oh, I think he's the first one to outwardly flirt. Yeah, I think yeah. so. You're right. Well, he seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever- uh, Recovery? I've ever seen. You got it. I, sh I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> Finger guns. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? <laughs>